The Pyramid of the Sun is still revealing its ancient secrets. The Pyramid of the Sun, located in the ancient Mexican city of Teotihuacan, is thousands of years old, yet it's still giving up some of its secrets. Archaeological work done at the site of both the Pyramid of the Sun and the nearby Pyramid of the Moon since 2000 has yielded some interesting finds, including a green stone mask that have only deepened the mystery surrounding the ancient Mesoamerican pyramid builders. In its heyday between 100 and 650 CE, the city of Teotihuacan, located about a half hour's drive from Mexico City, was the largest city in the Western Hemisphere. The city itself was spread over about 8 square miles and could accommodate a population of about 100,000 residents. Teotihuacan was not a fortress city, there were no walls or gates, instead there were temples, suggesting that the city was a center for religion and culture. The largest and most impressive of the ancient structures in Teotihuacan is the 216-foot Pyramid of the Sun. The pyramid, which was built around 100 CE, is located along the Avenue of the Dead, the ancient city's main thoroughfare. Constructed of red volcanic rock, the pyramid is evidence that the ancient people of Mesoamerica were skilled engineers and builders. The purpose of the pyramid of the Sun is not known, though archaeologists speculate that it was once a religious site. Second in size to the Pyramid of the Sun is Teotihuacan's Pyramid of the Moon. Constructed between 100 and 250 CE, the Pyramid of the Moon transformed the site into a balanced, dual temple complex. Archaeologists believe that the Pyramid of the Moon was the site of human and animal ritualistic sacrifices. The short answer to this question is we don't know. For a long time, it was assumed that the Toltec constructed the pyramids, but it has since been learned that Toltec culture was at its zenith long after Teotihuacan was built. We do know that the ancient Mayans were awestruck when they stumbled upon the abandoned city, and they weren't the only ones. The names Pyramid of the Sun and Pyramid of the Moon were actually given to the structure by ancient Aztecs, who also visited the site long after it was abandoned. For such an ancient site, and one that's been studied and excavated for well over a hundred years, little is known about the pyramids of Teotihuacan, and more is being discovered all the time. In 2003, for example, archaeologists found a series of tunnels and shafts beneath the Pyramid of the Sun. Through years of painstaking excavation, the archaeologists have reached the end of one of the tunnels at the center of the structure and hope to discover a tomb or chamber beyond the end wall. In 2004, digging at the Pyramid of the Moon unearthed a large quantity of human and animal bones. The human remains were all headless, leading to the assumption that they were ritualistically beheaded at the temple complex as some sort of religious sacrifice. Archaeologists digging at the Pyramid of the Sun in 2011 discovered a large treasure trove of artifacts. Included among the clay pottery and animal bones were three human figurines fashioned out of green stone. One of the most unusual finds during this 2011 excavation was a green serpentine mask. No other similar masks have been discovered at the site, making this one truly one of a kind. The green stone is life-sized with distinctive features, leading researchers who have studied the mask to believe that it was intended to be a portrait of a specific person, perhaps a king or high-ranking priest. Although it was obvious that the serpentine mask and three green stone figurines were intentionally placed inside the Pyramid of the Sun, archaeologists still have no idea who put them there or why. Perhaps the mask is a representation of a person who is buried in the pyramid, and the figurines are tokens or talisman that were important to that person. Until archaeologists can determine which ancient culture of Mesoamerica built Teotihuacan, the Pyramid of the Sun, and the Pyramid of the Moon, they can only theorize about the long-abandoned city and its mysterious pyramids.